My name is Paul. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to take you along with me snorkeling to the north side of Oahu to a place called Char Cove. It's a beautiful place filled with very colorful fish and one of the best spots if you want to go snorkeling and even cliff diving just for beginners and basically an amazing place. So this video was actually shot on the clips, underwater clips were actually taken on a phone which is I think pretty unusual. I used my Samsung S10e to record these clips which worked, actually worked okay. Although I did have some issues with it, basically charging the phone afterwards. It was also shot on my DJI Phantom 3 drone which at this point is a very inexpensive drone which you can probably buy on eBay for $350 or so and I think I believe at that time I rented snorkeling gear from Snorkel Bob but since then I actually purchased some snorkeling gear and I actually ended up spending so much money on snorkeling gear because I rented and then I bought and then I got a different different style of mask the breathing tube so I think this was $30 by itself and the kit which comes with these fins which I don't actually recommend the, the actual um, full uh, rubber fins are much nicer than these adjustable ones. Uh, they're just better to swim in, I feel. Okay, but these are good because they can fit all kinds of shoe sizes. Uh, the problem with these is the sand gets in the underneath and the fin them, fins themselves don't work quite as well. So, now, I have two different styles of masks here. So this kind, see both of these are designed to close when you go underwater. So there's a bit of a flapper in this one that closes and open, opens when you dive down. This one has a different mechanism for closing. Although I feel uh, like I should have spent money on this because this one doesn't work quite as well. What ended up happening was this thing would close randomly if I was just snorkeling above water so it was very very uh, very kind of uh, disconcerting all of a sudden you can't breathe while you're swimming okay so I don't actually recommend this because this one it works but it just has to you have to have it constantly adjust it in a proper position otherwise it'll close randomly on you so this this is probably not a safe one this one comes with the kit is okay and of course uh, the mask the mask actually they sell you this uh, basically soap it's supposed to uh, keep the lenses from fogging up which is very often an issue when you go diving so supposedly there's a plant that grows on the island that the liquid from the leaves if you crush the leaves works much better than the soap but I was just using standard soap that my friend had that I think he said he had it for a number of years you just need very little Okay, 
So, without further ado, come along snorkeling with me and seeing turtles to the north side of Oahu. Beautiful place. Look at this. Halewea, North Shore. There is only one perimeter road around the island on the North Shore of Hawaii and traffic along this place can be horrendous. We're talking about two or three hours getting stuck in traffic and it's mostly due to this place. It's called Turtle Bay and it's probably the number one spot to see turtles on the island. You can see them coming ashore on a fairly frequent basis throughout the year and the only thing I have to say about it is it's definitely worth coming and seeing the turtles but I would not stay here for too long there isn't really that much to do and you're just contributing to the problem of these turtles not being left alone to do their thing so many tourists are getting way too close and there's a person that's actually supposed to look out for these things but people are still getting too close and it's kind of hard to blame them considering how much money they spent to get to the island and it's not like they're harming the turtles they're just kind of invading their space a little bit the turtles seem to be pretty used to the people so they seem to be going on about their business just eating uh, seaweed which grows in abundance along the rocks here but the water's kind of murky and it's not a very good place to snorkel. He is so pretty. Funny. No. <laughs> no idea. Probably the most popular beach for snorkeling on the North Shore is this place. It's called Chart Cove and it has very unique rock formations at the bottom and a lot of cliffs from which you can go jumping off and snorkel in between so it makes a ideal place to spend the day basically snorkeling around because this beach is such a wonderful place to go snorkeling it's definitely a major tourist draw and because of that there are food trucks and places where you can grab coffee and even poke it, which is just raw fish. The dish is probably Japanese. I, I think that's where it came from. Just a cultural import. So many Japanese people live in Hawaii, so... But it's definitely delicious. Am I getting you? Shark Cove is more or less shaped like a giant horseshoe. The outer cliffs uh, provide protection from the currents and makes an ideal spot for fish to seek uh, sanctuary. So Shark Cove is actually made up of a specific type of lava, not commonly found on the other parts of the island. I don't think none of the other beaches I seem to have seen this type of rock. It's basically lava that has cooled really quickly and it's almost as hard as glass. It's very sharp and hard and in fact the native word for the lava is a uh ah -uh. and it actually sounds like the sound you're going to be making when you're walking on it because it's the most painful thing ever to walk on. In fact, the sharpest form of this lava rock called obsidian was used by Maya Inca priests 
to cut out the beating hearts of captured warriors that were being sacrificed to the sun god on top of their pyramids. So the plan is to dive off the cliff there. I believe these are lavender tangs. Tangs are a group of fish that basically are the cows of the ocean. They eat algae off the rocks. This was a butterfly fish. I was looking for you, where'd you go? I was looking for you first. That's a seal. There's a seal right there by you. There's probably a shark.
Is there a rock there? No. There's a rock here. Go on this side. Go on this side. Pick up the one you jump. Then you go up this one eventually, but if you want to go to this one, go ahead right now. I can uh maybe that one later. Shark Cove is also a popular spot for divers and when I was jumping off the cliff in fact I had to wait for them to get out of the way because otherwise I would have hit them all. My friend Robert is a really good diver and I was trying to film him going really deep. Now he did a great job but there's a bit of a problem in human buoyancy so it's really hard to actually dive really deep down without being pushed out back up by the water. So if you ever see divers usually what they have is a belt made of lead or actually has lead attachments, lead weights that will pull you down basically, weigh you down. But my friend did a great job. There's a really great movie called the La Grand Blue or The Big Blue. It's a French movie uh, about a man that tries to set the world record for free diving. 
it's basically diving on a single breath and it's amazing how deep these guys can get they can go as low as 350 feet I actually don't know what the current record is right now but that movie is absolutely beautiful and awesome it's so serene when uh, it's just diving on a single breath it's a movie that does a great job of capturing the blue abyss of the ocean just that feeling of being surrounded by nothingness and just very deep ocean
Thanks for watching. Uh, check out my other videos from Hawaii if that's a uh, place you want to go visit.